right shoulder movement in the golf swing pros versus amateurs are you finding it difficult to play consistent and improve your golf game and did you know that your right shoulder plays a really key role in playing better golf hi i'm troy from hitting at solid.com here and in this next video i'm going to show you the key positions of the right shoulder throughout the movement of the golf swing that can help you play better golf i'll see you soon Okay, let's talk about this right shoulder movement in the golf swing, pros versus amateurs. So I'll start off with going through the back swing and these are some key differences that you can work on if you've identified that your right shoulder might be an issue that can really help you out with your game. So in the back swing with the right shoulder, the first thing I notice with a lot of amateur golfers, if I'm set up to a ball here, now this will again depend on your flexibility they will not move this right shoulder back far enough when they turn that's one of the first things they do so if i'm set up here a lot of amateurs will as they make their back swing everything moves in one piece okay but from here they'll have a habit of just throwing their arms up instead of continuing to turn their shoulders so it looks something like this here arms thrown up you can see that my right shoulder is still popping out this side here and i've only turned about 75 degrees or something like that now with the pros when they make their back swings now obviously these guys are a lot more flexible as they make their as they get to about here they just keep turning and they keep turning and they're able to easily get in that 90 degree even further rotation with their right shoulder so what they're doing is their right shoulder is constantly turning back like that now if you don't have the flexibility to do if it's a flexibility issue consider lifting your lead heel off the ground when you make your back swing so when you turn consider lifting that lead heel off the ground that will help you make a better turn but if you've got decent flexibility make sure when you get to here feel like this right shoulder is coming back this way behind you just pulling behind you and that will help you make that better turn so that's a big difference I see now the other huge one I see and I touched on this in the left shoulder movement in the golf swing video which I'll put a link up above from this angle here down the line this is a really really common one this is what amateurs do as they make their swing this right shoulder now it's probably hard to see there on video but you can see my right shoulder has stayed very flat I'll do that again now the best way to show you this is putting a club across the chest this is what amateurs do now you can see there that clubs fairly flat there's not much tilt towards the ground I'll show you what pros do as they turn They distinctly get their lead shoulder a lot lower than their right. Their right shoulder is a lot higher. Helps them stay in plane and stay in posture much better. Gets their golf swing off to a great start. And you'll see this a lot clearly with this club. This is the pro move. See how the butt of that club points down towards the ground? It's a much better angle, a much better plane that gets their swing off to a great start. With the amateurs, it'll be this club head pointing way out there somewhere they haven't got that tilt in their shoulder plane at the end of their back swing really really important practice this just with the club across your shoulder making sure you get that lead shoulder lower and the right shoulder higher and that will really help you get that back swing to a much better start that's the back swing let's get to the down swing Okay, let's talk about the downswing and how that right shoulder movement in the golf swing works and the big differences between the pros and the amateurs. So for the downswing, one of the first things that's a really common one with this right shoulder, I'll show you this from down the line, is this right shoulder for an amateur tends to go out towards the golf ball. And this happens all the time, really, really common. I'll see him go to the top. Right shoulder goes out, gets the golf club very steep cutting down across the ball so all got to do with how this right shoulder moves now with the pros what they'll do they'll let the club just drop slowly at the start of the golf swing 
instead of the amateurs which go out like this. The pros will let the club drop slowly and the right shoulder will actually move more towards the target. And this is a really, really key move which works amazingly well, especially with your irons. This is what they do. So when they go to the top, the, the hands drop slowly. Now their right shoulder will move towards the target and they're not really even thinking about the club head or the hands. They're just getting their lead shoulder. There, they have a feeling that their lead shoulder is going to get to the golf ball before the club. Now this won't actually happen, but it's very much a feeling and a great thing you can practice at home to improve your striking. So if I'm set up to a ball here, this angle will show it much better. As I swing to the top, now as I come down, I'm feeling like my shoulder is getting to the golf ball before the club head. Now I'm talking about the shoulder moving in this direction relative to the ball. I'm not talking about getting the shoulder out this way towards the ball. I'm talking about this way. So as I swing back, I'm feeling like my right shoulder, you can see there, I'm feeling like it's moving this way laterally, getting to the ball first, then the club and comes through like that. And that way you're able to get a lot more forward shaft landing compression with your iron shot. So that's a big difference the pros do. Try to feel like your right shoulder gets to the golf ball first on the downswing. That's a huge key. Now the last thing that the pros do, and this is a huge difference, a lot of amateurs in that same key move, they'll get that right shoulder stuck back here and have to flip at the golf ball. Now, post impact, an amateur swing might, might look like that with the right shoulder hanging way back. What the pros do, they get this right shoulder over that lead foot post impact in their follow through. So it looks something like this. So as I swing back and swing through, you'll see that right shoulder of mine it's up over the top of my lead or left foot. Now with the amateurs, as I said, they'll quite often, and this might be something you can relate to, they'll look like this. See my right shoulder's way back here, somewhere behind the golf ball. So practice, this is a great little thing you can practice at home, making swings. Getting that right shoulder up and over that lead foot. That's a real pro move. Something you can practice. It will make a huge difference in the way you finish your golf swing, get more balance and make better golf swings. Give those a try. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Drop a comment down below if you've tried these right shoulder movements to improve your golf game. Maybe you've tried a different one that's been really effective in helping you improve your golf game and shoot lower scores. Drop a comment down below. I will reply to every comment. There you go. Now you know the right shoulder movement in the golf swing, pros versus amateurs. Now very quickly before you go right above this video here, I'll have a couple of additional videos. One will talk about that left shoulder in the golf swing, which ties in perfectly with this video here. There'll be another one that talks about the critical move in the downswing that the right shoulder plays as well. So make sure you check those out. Now below the video here, I'll have a link to my free three secret moves video, 100% free. Make sure you check that out. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I will reply to every single one of you. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.